Spooky, scary skeletons are shaking all the time. Their bones will rattle in the dark. I don't think I got the words right. Those spooky, spooky skeletons will eat you with a dork. Hi, everyone. Hello. It is it is me. It is Vinny. And this is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And without further ado, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Let's continue. Find out how Alucard got his groove back. It's like an episode of Mori. We gotta find out who his father is. Dracula, you are not the father. What? Is a man? This is better this way. He doesn't need to be my son. And then after this, we'll do a little more rare replay collection, a little Blast Corp, and then uh, I'll probably end up doing a little bit of exploring some of the other rare games that we didn't explore last night. I uh, wasn't going to stream today, but I decided that I would do a late stream, which is currently what we're doing. So... Let's do this. Oh, listen to that glorious stereo. It's nice to know there's a lot of people who have been enjoying the Castlevania stream. I I've had a lot of um, people contact me and say that they, they really have been enjoying it, and that's, that's awesome. I wasn't sure. I wasn't totally sure this would be a good Halloween. Well, I knew it would be Halloween-ish. <clears throat> But I wasn't sure it would make everyone happy, because people like... There's some people that think this is stupid, because it's bad graphics. PS... PlayStation. PlayStation graphics. Not good enough, man. Slice! That's gonna happen a lot. I'll just be talking, and then something's gonna say slice. Uh, that's gonna happen way more than it should. So am I doing this right? You have to start with the, um... What, what form? You start with the bat and then you, you go to... Or you start with wolf and then you go to bat. Yep, it, I did it right. And I get a life apple and a jewel sword. Oh, the jewel sword is kind of fun, actually. Well, first of all, the life apple here is heals a fam oh oh okay it's for the familiars only um, but yeah the jewel sword is cool because it turns enemies into jewels. It's not the most powerful weapon. In fact, it's it's on par almost with the werebane. But I'm gonna use it. It's just it's very slow, but it's it's pretty good for turning enemies into jewels. In fact. You get money just for using it. You'll notice, like, when I kill the merman. Eugene Merman. The, um, the effect. Oh, there you go. Zircon. So some enemies are more likely to drop jewels that you can sell. What's up, Konome? Also, I want to thank Carlo for a minute, um, just for getting me this ocarina. I forgot to thank you, Carlo, but um, I, I haven't played it because I know how much you guys don't like ocarinas. Or maybe you love ocarinas, I'm not sure. Whoa, did I just almost play Trolls and Goblins by accident? <laughs> I 
can't play the ocarina at all, but it, it is a nice one. It is a nice one. I do appreciate it. I, I already- now I own two ocar ocarinas to annoy you with. I don't have the ocarina of time, though. So, Soma is apparently like a 10-hour game. So I don't think I'm gonna end up streaming that after all. I'm not- I'm not entirely sure yet, but it's- it's looking like... I might not do that. I might just stick to some of the shorter horror games that I've- I've encountered in my travels. So, next week... I'm gonna start... with some stuff. And we'll, you know, I'll try to do a little bit... every day or so... of some form of spoopy game. Hey, Joel. And there's a thing right there. And there's the big Donkey Kong skeletons. Something appeared near to the wooden bridge. See, that's... That's the clue. The clue that you get is... The Herald Shield. Actually, I don't remember what this does with the shield. Yeah. You get the clue where you see the Donkey Kong thing. Donkey Kong skeleton. Well, oh shit, banned. Banned on stream. Protection of from fire. Protection from thunder. So it's a defensive one. Okay, we'll, we'll hold on to it while I use the jewel sword. But it, I don't think it was... It really isn't that amazing of a hit. Oh shit, whoops. Like, sure, you get to see Skeleton Donkey Kong throw the barrel at the wooden platform in that room, but unless you really put two and two together, like, it's kind of easy to miss. I missed it. I missed it for a little while, to say the least, when I first played this game. But, yeah, this is how you get to the catacombs. And this is... Alright, guys, you're in for, like, demon spoops now, so please... Please cover your eyes and ears if you get scared easily. Or, you might want to, I don't know, you, you, I don't know, you might want to call the priest, you might want to just call a priest real quick. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is, um, my sword's level three, by the way, you, you can level up your familiars. Oh, I have a ghost? That's kind of cool, I forgot about that. Uh, Ghost. Oh man, if the sword familiar wasn't so good, I would love to have a flaming skeleton head. Which is just a skull. Oh nice, it's a little slow. Okay, so you bring Donkey Kong here. No. Ah! Donkey Kong, come on. Here we go. So this is what you have to do to get to this area. Which... is a little bit vague pre-internet. To say the least. But... Eventually, you put two and two together, and then you get there. I'm sure some people probably figured it out, like, immediately, but... Not me. Okay, let's- let's go back to the Sword Familiar, because Sword Familiar is... is awesome. And it says, SLICE! So first, we go to the Abandoned Mine. This was also a song in my Worlds video. Which I might actually stream one day. And just discuss. Just for fun. Since it's close to Halloween. That was one of my favorite videos to this day. I don't think I'll ever top that. Oh, shit. Uh, 
but guys, I might die. What? No, I don't want to be a bat. Wow, the sword killed it. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Knives and sword. Why is it spelled with an O? Cerib OS. It's an operating system. Oh, there, that's right. There's a switch there. I believe only the fairy can activate it. I'll follow you anywhere. Oh my god. Jesus. Mm, it's not working. How do you get this to happen? Oh, you need the demon for- right, 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 the little guy with the pitchfork. Right, I, I was incorrect. Okay. Notice enemies are taking a little bit longer to ki get killed now. And I am still using the jewel sword, which is not in my best interest, but I'm gonna do it because it makes the game a little bit more challenging, and extra money is always nice, so. So I, I got really, um, I got really pissed today because I had this Velcro that came with, um, my pedal board and I saw it like just last week. There's the demon card. And I saw this in my house just last week and it's just a big roll of Velcro. It's like impossible to lose, impossible to miss and today. I needed it because one of my pedals lost the Velcro on it, and it's gone. I checked for like a good hour earlier. I checked everywhere. Just the house swallowed it. My house just swallowed. Did that happen to anyone else? Where you just... Like, you know no one else was anywhere near this stuff, and then your house just eats it. It just like enters the abyss, never to be seen again. And it ends up in like... Like some... Some guy's like... Couch in, like, Dallas, for some reason. Why does that happen? Who- who is- who's taking this stuff and placing it in someone's couch in Dallas? It's bizarre. So, I went online, I looked for, um, Velcro. You guitar pedal Velcro, right? Command me, my lord and master! That is an awful voice. What the fuck was that? This is a demon. Why does he sound like that? Also, <clears throat> also, how do I command him? Anyway, the, the Velcro, <laughs> the Velcro is $25 just for a roll of Velcro. I'm stunned. Oh, there it is. Hmm. A switch. Why don't I press it and see? Oh, God. <laughs> it's fucking horrible voice acting. His name is Demon, and he sounds like... He sounds like a script writer for, like, a Woody Allen movie. Like, like the screenplay for Woody Allen. Actually, you know what? Woody Allen does his own screenplay. Never mind. He sounds like someone on the crew of Seinfeld. Oh shit, sex plant. I wish I had my knives still.
how do you spell that, Alucard? Oh, it's spelled B L E A G H H H G H. Blah. I never understood this room. Anyway, um, some weird items. The power of Sire damages all enemies. It's a single time use item. And what else did I get? I got the uh, Ring of Ares. Confers strength of 24 men. So this lowers my defense down to zero, but gives me the strength of 24 men. So it's like, eh, I don't really think I want that. But I got plenty of peanuts, so I'm happy. Yo, I don't give a fuck! You know, I could really just be cheap. I'm hoping the sword will be cheap for me. The sword is not a very intelligent creature. It is just a sword at the end of the day. Should have used my shield there. The sword kind of just goes in the general direction of an enemy and farts in it. Vinny, do you give out candy on Halloween? I eat candy on Halloween. What? I'm a six foot tall child. I can go trick or treating. In a mask, anyone's a kid. I had a growth spurt when I was 12, and now I'm 13. What? What? I can't be six foot? Yes, I am. I am six foot tall. It was 5'11 last time I checked. But, um, my driver's license says six, so I'm not going to argue with that. Sounds like Ricky Gervais calling out Carl. That song, like, Carl! Ah! So yeah, I, I don't know where this fucking Velcro is. I'm really pissed. There's another thing I was I was gonna tell you guys or something. I ate at Sonic today. I wasn't gonna do it, but they opened a Sonic on Staten Island, so I I went there and it was for some reason there was a huge line. And I got at Sonic a chili dog. I'm not making this up by the way. As well as a burg. But chili dog was ha was received at Sonic. Yeah! Huge fucking, like, you wouldn't believe it. It was like a good 35 to 40 minutes. Like, there's nothing else going on on Staten Island where we open our first Sonic and everyone, everyone shows up. Like, the mayor is there, you know? Like, there's nothing else happening here. Excuse me. Uh, got a combat knife. Karma coin. 
Coin with two effects. I don't think I've ever actually used that. Flat combat dagger. It doesn't seem to have any effects, but you can do a, a, a double hit very quickly with this. Yeah, the, my health is really, really low. Where's Mike? Um, we jammed today. We had practice today. We may have a band name. We may have an album name. I'm not revealing them until we're final on it. I realized that's something a little bit too personal to be asking for help with, you know. I appreciate everyone that emailed me band names, but it's gotta be... You know when it's right. And you know when it's not right. The album name, we're like 99% on. And the band name, we're like... 94% on. Oh my god, I remember those. They were- this enemy was in a few subsequent Castlevania games. Do the soul steal! Fucking hell! I can't soul steal. Like, I just can't do the move. Fucking finally. Look, 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 the skeleton runs away. He's had enough of this shit. He was a slave to begin with. Now that Master Bones is dead. The slave skeleton's like, I'm out. Are you gonna extract that soul too? Circlet Bloodstone improves blood healing ability. Cat eye circlet. Big HP restored by cat damage. What? What do you mean cat damage? Like, do I have to find a cat? That's what a speedrun of this game sounds like, by the way. They do the backward shield dash... ...forever. That is officially the fastest way to get around. If utilized properly. Stopwatch, I don't really like. There's an enemy that turns into a cat on death. Actually, that's true, and that enemy is kind of close by. I believe, or maybe it's in the Upside Down Castle, I'm not sure. But it's a witch. Hang on a second, spells. Here, summon spirit. Touch your spirit. Okay. Can't run. You cannot run. I'm so sorry. 
I guess I'll use this sub weapon. Look at this sub weapon, guys. It's just ashes. You just throw ashes on the ground, and if you're lucky, it damages an enemy. favorite sub weapon. In fact, I would say the cross and the knives are just the best period. Like there's no higher there's there's no attempt to balance the sub weapons against each other. Oh right, right, here we go. Okay, we're in a dark room now. This is where you use echolocation. It lights the way. That's cool. Well, I'm almost dead. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Um, <clears throat> so we can't have that happen again. Difficult to eat. Wow, I couldn't even eat the goddamn peanut. Guys, look at this. I'm throwing peanuts, I can't eat them. I'm out of peanuts. Peanuts are gone. I don't even remember that. God damn it. You have to hold up when the peanuts land. Oh man, well it's too late now. I guess we'll never see me eat a peanut. Does anybody want a peanut? What do you get, like one HP from them? Yeah, you, you can't really- you, you can only use those, like, once. I don't even know. Like, I get a lot of items in this game that I've never used, or just tried once and then was like, nope. There's a lot of... seemingly useless items. But then you get pork buns, and it makes up for it. Spike breaker. Oh yeah, the spike breaker. Now I can access that secret area that I tried to get through the other night. Um, it actually is the best armor available for me right now, so I'm gonna just put it on. You can walk through um, spikes with the spike breaker. have this, this innate desire to wish to kill every enemy on the screen. I mean, I know there's experience in the game, so it is a good thing to kill enemies on the screen, but in, it, the game is so, like, it is so moderately difficulty. I was gonna say moderately difficulted. It has such a moderate difficulty, that's how you say that, that I really don't even see a desire or need or not desire, but just need. There's no need to kill every enemy that you see, that you come across, but it's just so damn fun. Fuck you, Spikes. So, who here saw South Park last night? 
Moderately difficultageous. Are you difficultageous? If so, stay away from me. In my safe space. In my safe space. Oh my god, that episode. The jimmies will be rustled. It was, it was awesome. I like, my favorite, like, sight gag was when, and I'm sorry to spoil this if you, if you're a South Park fan, you haven't seen the episode, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I gotta say, it's actually a pretty fucking good episode. It's one of the better ones this season, in my reckoning. And there's a part where the cashier of the Whole Foods is guilting Randy into donating a dollar for charity, but Randy just doesn't want to do it. He's like, gosh, I don't want to donate every single time I'm in here. And then it just becomes like increasingly, increasingly elaborate ways to shame Randy into donating. And the sight gag is there's there when he puts his foot on the like little little like starving child's face to take the money out. It's one of the most insanely genius and insanely stupid things I've ever seen South Park do. And it, it made me laugh so fucking hard. Oh my god. And you know what, though? That actually does happen. And I feel guilty. Even though no one guilts me into feeling guilty. If I don't donate the dollar, I just innately feel guilty about not donating the dollar for the homeless kids. They, they fucking hit the nail right on the head with that. And then they, they, of course, went on about bullying on the internet. Like, if you post yourself, you know, and you expect everyone to be nice to you, and then Butters has to sort through everyone, everyone's comments on YouTube and Twitter so that no one could be mean to anyone. It was... Oh, my God. I love Matt and Trey so much. And now I can't wait for the South Park game. Uh, fractured butthole. I'm ready for you, fractured butthole. There is a character called... <laughs> called Reality. in the show, and it was wonderful. Rest in peace. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm spoilerific. I gave a spoiler warning, warning, you can't say I didn't give a spoiler warning. Do you want to donate some money to send a hamster to college? Oh gosh, yeah, yeah, I guess I should. Like, not to go on a rant, and I'm not gonna go on a rant, but I will say this. One sentence. I put my shit out there for all to see. Right? I make videos, I stream, I make music, I put it online. There's pictures of my dumb face on the internet. I've received some flack. Way, way, way less flack than I've received positivity. But you, you gotta expect that if you put yourself online, that's just the way that the climate is right now, and people are gonna be mean. But if you're not that shitty, you will guess let you will get less shittiness, which is, I mean, that's just a novel concept. Like I feel like if you do the right thing, generally, you might get less shittiness. That doesn't stop people from making fun of your appearance, but then again, that's just always happened. Grade school, high school, college. Well, maybe not college, but grade school and high school. Kids are mean. And guess what? The internet is full of kids. That wasn't one sentence. But the point I'm trying to make is that, yeah, I mean, I put my shit online. And, um, I just have accepted that it's going to get railroaded from time to time. And that's okay, because I'd rather present something than be afraid to present something. 
and that's what I think South Park was trying to talk about on the uh, on the show. Yeah, I, I just realized in college, no one gave a fuck what I looked like. No one cares. Everyone keeps to themselves. They just want to go home, get their degree, do their studies, and then go fucking party someplace. The ice brand. This should be better than the combat knife. Slightly. And it has a really good um, special move. Oh, and, and its effects linger a little bit too. So you can attack and the attack can hit twice. Nini Moo says, you're also a super normal guy on the internet, Vinny. Spe statistically speaking, you probably get the least shit out of anyone on the internet. I mean, that's, that's true. I'm actually really, really happy and lucky that people are really nice to me. But, um, I, I try not to give people too many reasons. I'm sure I've had plenty in the past, but, you know, no one's perfect. So, but, that being said, I've, I've received my fair share, even to this day. Like I told you the, the other day, after I made that post on Twitter, I got like a bunch of hate email because they thought I was making fun of Undertale, even though I wasn't. And, uh, even though I ranted about it on stream, I gotta be honest, it was no more than a, a quick thought in my mind for like 10 minutes, and then I got over it immediately. That's whatever. Vinny doesn't really talk about political stuff or anything, does he? No, not really. I'm not a very politically minded person. Walk armor. Oh, I remember walk armor. This, the defense increases with map coverage. So, the more you, you uncover the map, the more your armor goes up. This is actually... I think this has the potential to be one of the best armors in the game, if I'm not mistaken. In my safe space. Um, well, if, if I had to endorse someone, it would be Colonel Sanders. Because chicken is delicious. Oh, I remember actually struggling with this boss last time I streamed this. This is Grand Falloon, guys. Grand Falloon is... Yep, yeah, it's just a mass of flesh. This is one of my favorite bosses in any video game. And they repeated it a number of times. In fact, it was called Legion in um, subsequent games. I don't remember what the Grand Falloon reference is. Okay, I can't use magic? That's great. There we go. I'm like failing really hard at magic. Grand Falloon is a reference to Kurt Vonnegut? Oh, okay. That's what it was. If I had knives, this fight would have been over by now, to be honest. So, I'm trying to use the Soul Steel again. Why- this happens every time. Oh, 
Come on. Yes. Okay. Maybe if I can get the sword, like, positioned in such a way that he can do some damage to Grand Falloon. Hang on a sec. Spells. A little bit more brain, brain matter. Come on. Uh, I gotta be cheap, guys. I'm sorry. I have no choice. I mean, I have plenty of choice, but let's let's be cheap for fun. All right, time to cheap them out. I mean, was there even really a chance? No, Felix Online, it was about Star Wars. Because the trailer had been released the previous day, I was discussing the, the overhype and the theories and the insanity surrounding that Star Wars trailer that I was seeing online and even in real life. But yeah. That's why, like, it's it's almost it's almost cheating to use the goddamn shield rod. It's so good. It's too good. Edge Lord Shield. Cum hacking. It's fucking intense cum hacks. But then again, I marmalated my system just the other day. All the kids are marmalating. And I still have my Burt's Bees. Just saying. Mormagil. Mormagil. More Black Sword, Strong versus Holy. Um, I don't think this has a special. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have a special, but it's really good against certain enemies. It could lead to titties lactating Mountain Dew. Did you guys ever see Ocelot Tits? Speaking of Ocelot Tits, I don't know why that reminded me of this, but my uh, Comic-Con video, I finally had a chance to start like, getting some serious editing time in. It, it's a very involved video in terms of editing. Just to get the pacing right, it's it's really a lot. So, I'm sorry it's, uh, it's taking so long. <clears throat> but, it is, it is amazing so far. Some of the answers that I got for these comics are mind-numbingly stupid, and I love it. Let's see, that's a lot. Tits. It's from a movie called The Holy Mountain. And it's basically... Yeah, here it is. It is... This is a scene from the movie. There's more cut off that you don't want to see. But this, this gif cuts it off pretty nicely. 
That's a scene from an actual movie. That that is Ocelot tits. That is directed by Al, I think his name is Alejandro Jodorowsky. To say it the way it's supposed to be said, per perhaps. And uh, it, it really is amazing, but it's also absurdly, absurdly strange. The whole movie is just symbolism and weirdness and Jesus and Ocelot tits and... I've watched this movie a number of times. I still don't understand it very much, but I love it. I get bits and pieces of it. Um... Let me show you one more thing. This is, um, where is it? Uh... There's a part where a dude's like, I have climbed the, the holy mountain horizontally. No, I don't think I'm going to find it. It is the weirdest, like, clip. I saw the clip. I thought it was like, okay. I thought, I was like, this has got to be a joke. This can't be real. And then I looked it up. It turns out it was from a movie. And I had to see it. So I saw it. And then I found out that John Lennon actually funded the movie. Like, John Lennon put up his own money so he could see this movie made because... Yodorowsky could not raise the money for it. Look at this fucking edgelord. So, yeah, but just keep in mind, if you do watch this movie, there's, there's penises, and there's a part where shit turns into gold through the alchemical properties of transmutation. In fact, a Beck, song's, a Beck song references it from the album Mutations. There's a line, turn shit to gold and sets my soul crazy. That's a direct reference to the movie. going to switch back to the ice brand. Can I turn can you turn gold back into shit? Whoa. Whoa, you're asking for the impossible now. Once it's gold, it's gold forever. I mean, it's hard enough to get the poop into gold, let alone bring it back into poop. I mean. Maybe there's a wizard out there somewhere that could do that, but I don't know. My name is Fart Morty. I can turn anything into gold by adding atoms to it. I've still never watched El Topo, which is Jodorowsky's previous film. And I heard that one. That one's also a head trip. There's a, um, speaking of poop, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I saw a video just today of this beach somewhere. It, it might have been India, but it also may have been Indonesia. I know, I'm horrible. But I don't remember exactly where, but it's, it's a beach where people go and they just poop on the sand. That's it. That's the whole story. 
They just poop on the sand, and like you see the, the footage of the beach, and there's just shit everywhere. And no one thinks to dig a hole in the sand, at least hygienically, to get someone from not stepping in it. Nope. Just shit everywhere. It's, it, it, it's India? Okay. Yeah, that's India. <coughs> what river is it in India that used to be... Is it the Ga Not the Ganges. Maybe it is the Ganges. It, it used to be like this amazingly clean... Amazing... Well, maybe not amazingly clean, but this amazing... Um... River... And it's just poop. Someone says, I'm trying to eat, goddamn. Yeah, it's the it's the Ganges River, and it's basically just, just sewage at this point. <laughs> it's a holy river, but it's just, it's made of poop. I think uh, Carl Pilkington went there for um, Idiot Abroad, I want to say. Or Moaning of Life. Uh, Idiot Abroad. Yeah, it was Idiot Abroad. Sorry, if you were eating, I'd like to apologize on behalf of all poop. It was unfair of me. It was unfair of me to bring up poop. But keep in mind, poop was happy that it had its day in the sun, finally doesn't get enough credit in this world, and finally, it, it is famous. Alright, um... The conference house? was said to have been haunted many years ago by the rageful Commander Captain Billop. It is said that he was prone to fits of rage. There's um, another angel statue over there I have to wait for. Hammer. Just for a second, I need to understand. Oh, it's a familiar item. I do like that in the subsequent games, you, you got to see different types of weapons, like hammers, and spears, and um, flails, and maces, and stuff. Ah, oh, yes, the gravity boots. I love this item. See, I, I won't really even need to use the bat anymore, really, because... I mean, I'll still use the bat from time to time, but the gravity boots are amazing. It's just up, down, jump. Up, down, jump, and you can, you can chain them for as long as you have magic. Um, it's more or less a clean run. I don't know how to glitch it, Marcel. I'm not, um, I'm not too well versed in the glitches of this game. You need the stopwatch for the other statue? Ah, shit. Alright, fine. I gotta find the stopwatch. Get the, um... Where is the stopwatch? Am I going the right way for 
for a stopwatch? No, that's holy water. Is there any game you can actually kind of speedrun? Uh, not really, no. Maybe a Mario game? Zelda 2 I know pretty well. Right side of the clock tower is the stopwatch. What wasn't there one down here too, or am I mistaken? In the flea man room, there's a, st a stopwatch just to the right of the statues in the flea man room. All right. It's been a while since I streamed Zelda 2. Um, here's how you can tell if it's been a while. Is there a Zelda 2 full stream anywhere on YouTube? On Vappy's channel or on Full Sauce? Does anyone know? It's on Vappy's, then. It's uh, recent enough where I don't have to do one for a while, I think. <clears throat> Not that I wouldn't want to, because I, I enjoy playing that game a lot. Is there a Metroid, a Super Metroid, on full stream? On full sauce or on Vappy? How's that? Because if there's no Super Metroid, I might have to get on that at some point soon. No? Alright, well... In the next month or two, I think you might be able to expect a Super Metroid stream, which is another one of my favorite games, which incidentally is just like this in many ways. Alucard shield. Alucard mail. Alucard sword. Okay, there's a trick to these items, aren't there? So the, al my character's name is Alucard. It resembles the family sword, but it isn't quite the family sword. Dracula. Is this just to make the game more difficult, or is there actually... I thought there was something. They boost your luck like mad. So, oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Wait a second. So what you're saying is... Oh, shit, yeah, plus 29 luck. So if I use these items... If I use these items in conjunction with the thing that makes rare drops appear more often, doesn't it make it a lot easier to farm for um, certain gear? I think I remember using them for that purpose. Also, the shield rod plus alucard does this. Question mark. <laughs> yeah, this is good farming gear. I'm gonna use it just for the fuck of it. Um, so now, I guess. <laughs> it changes your name to Alucard too. Oh yeah, there you go. I am now Alucard, son of Dracula's penis. Okay. I am son of Dracula. Cousin of Dracula. He's like the cousin that no one talks about. Like, he's just got weird shit in his castles. Like, at least this castle, there's some level of good taste. Like, there's skeletons, there's werewolves, there's demons. 
He's just got like, like clown, like naked clowns running around with fucking like steak knives. Like Dracula's castle is fucking weird. Like there's just baby doll heads flying around with used condoms on them. Oh, he went too far. Uh, it's not my fault. It's like that Dracula guy's a real creep. Like in Dracula's castle, he just combines various animals with humans and just nothing works. Everything's moving around and like this like half dead. Like zombie like state. There is a man bear pig in Dracula's castle. I'm telling you guys, I, I know this. There's a man bear pig. There's like a skeleton, lion, giraffe, monkey, fish frog. Vine sauce, how often do people send you emails about them getting offended from something you say? Um, I don't know, maybe like once, uh, once a month. Sometimes like four times a month, depending on uh, how raunchy I get. I don't really go too far, you know. There, there are limits. I can say cunt as much as I want. Twat. Fuck. You know, there's certain words that just are non-denominationally, like, you know, good curse words. But, um, yeah, I'm sure that there's lots of things. Like, people have complained about me saying almost everything at some point. Uh, you know, whatever. I'm good. I I'm happy where I'm at. There, there will be no more sacrifices made. Will you ever read us some of your mailbag? Considering I get like 30 emails a day, that's that's going to be pretty hard. But uh nah, I don't I don't really like doing that to people. I don't like naming names either. Like if someone's really shitty or weird about an email, I won't name the name. And I don't really like to make fun of people that send me emails. In fact, my humor does not necessarily like I don't really like making fun of people, period. You know, not, like, in front of this many people. Maybe to Mike, but... Aside from that, no, um... I don't really like, uh... I don't really like that. So, I don't I don't think I would do that too much. I've done it in the past. There were some emails that were just absurdly ridiculous, and I told you guys about. But not in, like, the sense to make fun of the person, but more to just discuss it. I try to keep it vague, too. I don't, I don't like to power... I don't like to, uh... Be very specific. But you never know what could happen in the future. And I'm not, you know, if I break that one day... It'll be because I got something really fucking stupid. But no, I mean, generally I could talk about clown jobs as much as I want, and like how both clowns are crying. And the makeup will run down so that it mixes in with the hand of the other clown. And it gives, like, the, the clown job is instantly better as a result of that. Richter? Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Weird really? sound mixing on so these voices. So he is here. But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. Th that can't be true. You're wrong. I, I, I must go now. Uh, 
All oh, right, I need the two rings. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that that sound mixing on on the voices in this game. It's just so disgusting sounding. I must go now, and then she just skips away. It's like, huh? <laughs> it's part of the charm of the game, though. I don't like. Alucard run, here we go. So, um, Vinny, what do you think of YouTube Red? Was a question I got. Um, not, I'm not really sure what's going on there. I don't, I mean, it's, it's obviously a personal choice if you want to get ad free. So, that's okay. They're not forcing it on people. That's fine by me, but I also don't really understand what else there is to it, aside from, well... My initial reaction was it sucks and it's stupid, to be totally honest. But, again, if people do end up subscribing to it, then that's their own fault. You know, and I can't even imagine how many moms are gonna end up having to subscribe to this thing because PewDiePie did a specific game on it. PewDiePie won't get content claimed. Doesn't matter, he could play whatever he wants, he's never gonna get content claimed because he's got very very big people behind him, and he could hire a lawyer that could fucking decimate almost anyone, or at least defend him. But, you know, that's, that's what happens when you have 39 million subs, and you have a YouTube network with Disney behind it, backing you. Rules don't apply. Now picture that on a much larger scale. Like bankers and corporations, and and you have why this this country is kind of fucked up. All right, I'll stop. I'm not doing po politics. I am not doing politics. I am so sorry. So anyway, yeah, YouTube Red. Just in in short, I uh, don't don't understand why this is happening, <laughs> is my answer. And, uh, I wouldn't subscribe to it. No. No, no, no. I don't know what it means for me, either. Like, as someone that makes ad money on YouTube, I'm wondering how that works. Like, do they sub to YouTube and they just get the money, and then the people that get their ads skipped? Do they just, like, not get any money from it? Like, how does that work? Or does YouTube actually give me money? There's been no... No communication about this. When YouTube Red users view other channels, YouTube gives you money. Oh, is that how that works? YouTube is giving you money from it. I didn't know that. I mean, I've always said I don't really mind if people use Adblock. If you really want to use Adblock on the Full Sauce channel, I'm not gonna be upset about it. I use Adblock. If you turn it off, I make a few extra bucks. But again, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be upset about it. That's your choice. I don't really care. The the one dude that was saying that it's like stealing from him, that I don't know. That's stupid. Yeah, PewDiePie is, is someone, he, he 
donates money to charity. I don't I don't dislike the guy too much. Like as a person, he's a good person, from what I understand. I just as a as a character, I don't really particularly care for his streaming style. That's the most neutral answer I could give. But I, I believe that. I don't actually hate the guy by any means. Well, I don't I don't think he really did anything. Someone says that donating to charity doesn't excuse someone's shitty behavior. I don't think he did anything specifically sh shitty. Or maybe I just don't know. I don't really follow what he does. I don't I don't know. Not streaming style. I meant video style, sorry. But uh He's smart. I gotta give it to him. He is a smart dude. He knows what sells. And once he realized how he was getting that money, he just kept doing it. And if he donates a lot of it to charity, then I say that's... That's a good use of his money. And... I'm, uh... I'm definitely cool with that. See, I make enough money. Compare 39 million subs to, like, 300,000. And that's, that's what I have. Uh, plus full sauce. I make enough money to live and eat, and I'm pretty goddamn happy with that, gotta be honest. That's like the best thing ever. If more ever comes from me doing exactly what I'm doing, or from music, or from me selling some sort of product that actually has work and effort put into it, great. But uh, if anything other than that, I wouldn't want to do. I wouldn't want to be someone I'm not to make more money nor would I want to charge people for watching my shit, so. But, uh, that's, that's always been my philosophy. Yeah, I mean, I can afford to give one dollar to homeless people when I go to Whole Foods. I don't go to Whole Foods. Jeff says, people do what they need to do to make money, as long as they aren't exploiting others who really care. Someone else's money is no one else's business, honestly. Yeah, I think I, I actually agree with that. I, I agree with that very much. And, uh, if, in fact, I was kind of implying that I was interested in, in how much money Pewds makes, uh, that's, I'm trying not to, to do that. Because there are many, many hundreds of thousands of people and millions of people and billions of people well maybe not billions but millions of people that make more money than I do and that doesn't bother me so it doesn't bother me how much money PewDiePie makes I like what Critical does Critical makes his YouTube money and he donates it to charity and he has a Patreon so if you want to support him directly you can and he donates a lot of money to Charity Critical. He is a fucking legit dude. Uh, what does it say here? PewDiePie several videos about the money. He says the money is just a bonus to doing what he loves to do for a living. He's really humble about it. Being able to play video games and also being able to put money on your table while playing video games is a privilege. And it is an amazing, amazing thing that one should never, ever, ever take for granted. The lucky few that are able to do it. Me being one of them. But at the end of the day, if you don't enjoy it, then I think it comes through. And also, if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. Go do something else. That's kind of how I feel about that. But how do you not enjoy video games and hanging out with people and talking to people and making stupid jokes? I it Really, how could you not enjoy that? All right, so um, anyway, guys, I need your help. And also getting free help from the audience 
That's for someone who sucks at games like me. That's perfect. Um, guys, where do I get that other ring? This will actually be helpful. So if anyone knows where I can get that other ring so that I can fight the true final boss, now's the time. Water cave. The crystal caverns. Oh, okay. Someone in chat just said you're an asshole most of the time though, Vinny. But when you're not, you're a good guy. I think that's just part of what I do. That's how I am when I play video games. It's not like I'm an asshole towards anyone. I'm an asshole towards bad games. And I'm also, I think, an asshole... ...as part of my humor. But... Not in a malicious way. <laughs> but I don't- I never really- I don't know if that's the case. I mean, I, some people have different views on what kind of person I am. I don't think I'm- I'm particularly... Uh, that much of an asshole. You know what? Fuck you! How's that sound? All right, I earned my asshole title now. I'm proud of it. I'll keep it. Claymore. You fucking what, mate? Say that for my fucking face and not online and see what fucking happens. I fucking hit you in the monk, in the monkin. I fucking willy wog you in the mungan. Is it still bullying if no one understands what you're saying? Like if I say I'm gonna willy wag you in in the 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 in the blumpkin. All right, never mind the blumpkin. There's got to be something else. Check this out, guys. Nightmare. Mother! That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Mother, no! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die, and remember always my last words to you. Yes, Mother. You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. What? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. No, it wasn't like this. What's wrong? Alucard. My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness. No, you're not my mother. What kind of demon are you? <laughs> you broke free of my spell. I like that. Jesus. Demon, death is too good for you. Come here, little boy, and show me what you got. It's always a succubus, huh? Oh, 
playing tricks on Alucard. I actually like that sequence a lot. I know it's cheesy because of the voice acting, but I really like the sequence. It's 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 kind of fucking disturbing. Darkling, I smell your blood. You're a vampire. Could it be vampire? That strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! I beg of you! <laughs> and there's the ring. I'm going to show you guys one more thing, and then I'm going to switch to Rare Replay. So these two rings that I have, the gold and silver rings, these are used to get to the final boss. Well, not the final boss, but like uh, the boss that you need to attack, that you need to kill to get to the next thing. It's like a big secret. This game holds a huge secret, and you'll see it. If you don't know the game, I don't want to spoil it, but it's cool as fuck. And, uh, you'll- you'll see it. But you need those two rings to do this. And they're somewhat hidden. And then knowing what to do when you get the rings, that's a whole different story. Alright, so, I, I don't know if you guys remember this guy. I say the word guy a lot, don't I? Must be a New York thing. Alright, so this- this dude right here, he... I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this. <laughs> Thank you. Farewell for now. What can I do for you? So this I'm is the dude that shits this. down that hole. Like, that's his bathroom. He's forever his soul was set, sent here. Forever. Soul. <laughs> Thank you. Farewell for now. But... I'm gonna show you something kind of cool that you can do. So, Joseph's Cloak, it's got some good defense, it's got extra luck, it's got good con, it's, it's basically one of the best cloaks, if not the best cloak. And, you can set the cloak color. So if I want to go bright green, I can. Pretty good. See, we got vine sauce colors now. In fact, actually, let me let me vine sauce arise it a little bit more. No, I don't want the inside to be black. It's a little too dark. I don't understand why the, the cloak is different. Oh, I see it now, yeah. Actually, you know, for those talking about green being my favorite color, it is my favorite color. I love the color green. However, the band name that we're thinking about might have a completely different color scheme. If we go with this particular band name, we're gonna have... Like, green is not a color that, that I want to put with this particular color. My previous band was called Davies Gray, which is incidentally also a color. But, yeah. 
this particular band name lends itself well to a color. I'm not, I'm not saying it yet. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave you guys guessing. It's one of those things that we're going to, you know, just when it happens, it's going to happen. So this is something that you do. I think you do this like 20 times. And then you get something. You, you can send the guy for a little ride. This is the most fun he's ever had in his life. Ring of Arcana. There it is. Do I get more? Or is it just Ring of Arcana? <laughs> he's so happy. Increases rare item appearance. That is a fucking awesome, awesome item. There's more? Oh, shit. You get the best armor, but it takes 20, 10 years. Damn it. And you gotta do it consistently, too. Actually, I don't have the magic for that. I keep... Alucard keeps moving. Very slightly. Let me just pound his ass a little bit. Let me just rail him. I'll just do this for as long as I have magic. And just see if I get another item. I know there's a few other items. I know there's a really good armor you guys are talking about. But, uh, I don't know if I have enough magic right now to get it. And also, I want to switch to rare replay, so... Not good enough. I couldn't blast him enough. I couldn't Frank Man blast him. Maybe next time, maybe next time I play this. Obviously, this is the most exciting stream on Twitch right now, where, you know, you, you get to see Alucard rail an old man's ass. And by the way, that statement is true, but very misleading. seen the names of the episodes for Always Sunny Season 11? Yes. I don't remember them, but yes. The song sounds so full and nice in stereo. Okay, so... I'm going to take a quick BRB, and then we'll return with Rare Replay Collection. I'm going to show you guys possibly the best BRB I've ever received from Moogie. So, it's going to be pretty fucking cool. So, uh, you get some entertainment while I'm away. So, be back in about three or four minutes, Rare Replay Collection. Uh.